Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to format your research paper so it looks nice and is easy to read and is ready to be read and commented on by your teacher or your classmates. Now, some teachers might require you to strictly follow APA formatting for your entire paper, so you should check with your teacher for details. In this video, I won't follow APA style strictly because I think we can improve on it to make your paper look a little better and be a little easier to read. But you can use the information in this video to change your paper to whatever style you need or whatever style your teacher requires. Okay, so here I've opened up a uh, Word document in Windows 8 and Microsoft Office uh, 2013. And the first thing we need to do is make sure we're typing in English. You can see I'm typing in Japanese here. So I need to push this key and make sure, there we go, make sure that it's typing in English now. And I'm going to start by typing uh, a temporary title. Okay, and here's my paper. Make sure that you're typing in English. Make sure you're not typing in Mincho font, which looks like this. This is terrible. Now usually, if you got this set up right, your initial font will be Century and the size will be 10.5. Now this isn't what we uh, want for the paper, so let's start working on this to make it better. Okay, next, let's set the important parts of the paper to be different from the text. So for example, we'll take this and set it as the title, and we'll set uh, this as maybe like a subtitle, and we'll set uh, the headings of the sections as heading number one, Okay, where's my method section? Here it is. That's also going to be heading level 1. And then these headings, I'm going to make heading level 2. And you can see one good thing about setting these is now I can actually see the outline of my paper over here. Now let's change the style of the paper to be a bit closer to um, APA style. You can go to the design tab and then here you have these style sets and what we can do is um, you can see um, if we put the cursor over these different ones uh, there's lots of different possibilities um, the ones I recommend are either um, this one Word 2003 uh, or maybe this one classic so for example if we change it to Word 2003 then you can see that um, my title is formatted like that, my headings are formatted like this. Okay, next, let's set up the font. The font of the title is, you can see it's Arial 16, the font of the headings is also Arial, and the font of the text itself is Century. Um, Century is not bad, but your teacher might require others, and um, you know, me personally, I prefer maybe Calibri, um, but let me show you how to how to change this. The easiest way to do it, put the cursor somewhere in your text, then come over here and you want to not select everything, you want to select all the text with the same formatting. So it's not going to change the headings. Then come back over here and we can change it to, for example, Times New Roman will be like this, or Calibri will be like this. I'll just use Times New Roman. Okay, that's the most usual font. Also, uh, let's check the size. If you're, uh, in this case, my size is 12, make sure your size should be 11 or 12. You can kind of look and decide what you want to do, but um, 10.5 is too small. 12 is usually the normal. Okay, next we're going to change the paragraph settings here. Okay, once again, let's select the same text here, the paragraphs, and then we're going to come up here to the paragraph setting. I'm going to click this little button in the corner to get the advanced, uh, the more detailed settings. And what we want to do for uh, English style research paper is we want to make sure that we're, we want to make sure that we set it to not put spaces between paragraphs and we want to indent the paragraph. That indenting is this. Now the Japanese indenting, the first one is only one character, which is too small. Uh, in English, it should be half an inch, which is about 1.3 centimeters. So we'll try uh, about 2.5 letters. We'll see how that is. 
and then we click OK. Right, and that looks pretty good. OK, now where the paragraphs are indented. And you can do the same thing to the headings if you want to change anything in their uh, settings. For example, if you want to change these, you can also do the same thing here. Select all things with the same formatting. That'll give you all the headings and then do what you want. I'm just going to leave them as they are. Next thing we want to check is the margins, which is the white space on the outside. So let's come to the page layout tab here. Here's the margins and this is a good setting. This one is not bad either. Okay, Makes it a slightly smaller margin. Okay. I'm just going to leave it for this one for now. Okay, next we want to put uh, page numbers in our document. Page numbers come up here to the Insert tab, and then over here to Page Numbers, and we want page numbers to be on the top and on the right. So we'll do that, and there's the page numbers. Okay, and now if you come over here, you'll see that my page number, now I got it selected, it's been changed to Century Font, I'm going to switch it to Times New Roman so that it matches the rest of my text. And then back to the uh, header footer. Header is this section on the top, and we'll close that. Okay, there's my page number. Okay, and then the last thing I need to do is double space this. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to select everything, and I can come right here and I can come down here and set it to double space. Now, there's one more thing I have to do. Double spacing generally on Japanese computers is bigger than it needs to be. So we have to change a setting in here. So to fix this setting, we go to Page Layout, and then here the Page Settings, click this. And then this middle section here, you want it to be selected to this not this one. Japanese word usually has this one as the default, but we want this one uh, as a normal for English. And then click OK, and you'll see that my double spacing doesn't look so huge anymore. This is what double spacing should look like. Now one last thing that you might want to do is, if you don't like seeing these little marks, I don't like it. I like my document to look just like it's going to look when it prints. These little marks are not going to print in your final version, but if you don't want to look at them, then come over here to File and go down to Options and make sure you're on this uh, Display tab. And then right down here, uncheck this and then click OK. And there, now my document looks like it will when it prints. One last thing, let's talk about spell checking. If your paper has a red line under it like this, uh, the red line means that there's a spelling mistake. And, you know, you can see it right here. Um, another way you can do it is come up to the Review tab and then just hit this, hit the spell checker. And it will give you the word, and it will give you a suggestion. Okay. And there. I just changed it, so now it has Introduction. So make sure you spell check your document. It won't catch all the mistakes, but it'll catch a, a lot of them.